Rise and shine, rise and grind. What's up, everybody? I'm trying out this uh, headphone thing. We're going to see if it works a little bit better because I've been having a lot of uh, audio quality because the my mic will, my finger will sit right on the mic. So whenever you can't hear anybody like that, just know it's the finger over the mic. More though. Um, so we're going to do the throttle body sensor. I mean, throttle body sensor. Uh, well, I don't think this one does have a throttle body sensor anyway because I think it's built into the throttle body because it has an electric one. But anyhow mass airflow sensor so i'm looking at one flat head here one flat head here two hose clamps um just as easy as that one sensor it looks like and then the battery terminal over here um doesn't look like a 10 might be like a nine or something we'll try that out right here but they're on the sides here's the side um terminals i think they stopped that um eventually though so let's see if we can match up our bit and i'll take the clamp off terminal off uh, I got the clamp off with this thing here uh, I just went in and took that clamp off there move over here and you know um, I always like to do the biggest bit we can for the size so this was the one of the biggest sizes I can get and we'll start with this here just taking that one off moving over to this one taking this one off if you had gloves I would put them on but just know when you put on your gloves, you lose little bits and stuff out of your hand. So this clamp right here, so there's a gray piece in there. So you take that out first and set it aside. Um, don't leave it in here as you're taking it off because it could fly out. So remove that. In some other videos, they'll just take it off and they'll put this. But this thing can fly because it's a lot of force. And I literally like hit this so hard right now. Try to get this off my sensor. Um, but yeah, so... Just take that off first because it might fly. So, and then do your hose clamps. Got that one off. I um, did the air box too. I think I'm just gonna leave it here and just take it off from here, um, just like this. Um, and this is what I meant because I don't I don't really know too much about that and all this. So I think I'm just gonna leave it in in here because that's all it is really, and everything else will dry pretty fast. So. I think I'm just going to leave it like this just so I don't risk touching it. Okay, so I totally forgot to record it, but I used up like half of the rest of the can. Let's all see. that is the dirt. I should have probably went and caught all that, um, but it'll wash off in the rain. But you could put up a little bucket and stuff so it doesn't leave that. But yeah, um, so I usually just uh, I shook it a bunch. You have a bunch of sensors in here. You have that one up there. And then there's uh, another three down here, so... I was trying to get that one to see if it would go ember, but it looks like it just stays pretty dark. Um, you can see I sprayed in there. So yeah, you just uh, spray it, and spray it, and spray it. And then um, you can see that's all, like, I think dirt stuck on there still. I think that's all dirt stuck on there, all that stuff. Might, might be dirt. Um, might not be the cleaner alone, but, uh, yeah, at least we did something, you know, it's better than nothing, you can leave it like that, I wouldn't go any further than that, because I'm out of my can, so I would just clean, clean it with the, clean, the can, you could probably get in there and clean that with a, a little rag or something, all this, all these parts that look dirt, flip this around, so we could see that there, you see all that, I just wiped at my finger, so you could see it is, it is coming off pretty easy. But uh, this right here, I was trying to get this to be ember, but it's either so caked on, it's black. You can see that's all my residue from cleaning it, so I'm going to go back there and try to clean that off again. Let's see if we can do that. This is harder to do it one-handed when it's like this. Hit it again a couple times and put it directly in the sun, and it looks like that's just caked on with stuff, so I don't think that's going to come off, but... Um, I don't know if I showed it before, but it looked about the same. It really did not look dirty. Um, you know, there's those parts you can do with the rag, but I don't have that and I don't have the time. So I'm just going to have this dry, dry right here, dry it in the sun there. Maybe I'll come in with the rag and try to clean all that. But for now, that's going to be, uh, pretty much the, the video. Um, another thing is just watch out for these. These were already broken when I got them. But as you can see, it's a, it's pretty common too on a lot of other vehicles. This one doesn't even screw down all the way. I'm not really sure why. This one doesn't really screw down all the way. It just keeps spinning in there. This one is in here. These two are fine, but I just noticed this, so I don't know how fine this counter is. So that's almost all four corners. 
um, I would recommend changing that as soon as it happens. You know, there's people who say you can ride on three nuts or whatever. But, um, yeah, it goes right through the air filter on this one. It actually goes into the air filter. Um, that screw there, where'd it go? Yeah, it goes through the air filter. Um, this is how I got it. So, um, I want to change this out and this, but it uh, just be cheaper to get aftermarket stuff. I don't really know what I'm going to do with this, but just be watch out for these on any sort of vehicle. Just because I don't, I'm not a complete savage. Okay, let's see. So yeah, I think I'm gonna decide to get a little mini rag though and just wipe off some of this stuff on the inside and outside. Just a little bit clean, you know? I don't, I don't feel right putting it together just like that. Cause then someone's gonna look at it. You didn't clean that thing. No, you gotta look at my YouTube. I don't even clean it on my YouTube either. I forgot. It was harder to do one handed, so it was nice to have Nathan record the other one. I like them in the blue shop towels. These break apart in some of the other videos. Really easy. I don't recommend these at all. They leave a lot of um, fuzzy stuff too. All that fuzzy stuff and all the... Yeah, see, I don't like this. You can see what's going to wipe down in there. Just about halfway. Pretty rough too. It's still pretty on there pretty good. You can see. Mm. On there. Put the other side. Halfway. Yep. Almost. Okay, I can take that off. Go ahead and put this thing back together now if we can. Let's see if there's any spots. Or you could put that on the side too. That's fine. I'm leaving the duct on the side. I just don't like bending it too much. So as I'm getting it in the duct, I try to place it in. Have the slides up on over. You want to make sure everything is on as tight as it can be. As forward and as tight as everything can be like tucked up all the way if you can yeah this one too this one i can't pull up or forward or anything this one's on there really tight so i want to pull it up a bit but i don't think i can so let's um start with just the uh, allen's because that was the last tool so you just start on the last tool you can get these in hand tight at first just so you don't cross thread get them in hand tight if you want first match up your holes make sure they're in center they go in a little bit stiff so it feels like you're going in off center but i think that's fine it feels like you're drilling new holes in the plastic every time but they go in pretty smooth too taking it apart it was, st it was spinning and lifting up it was it was lifted up it was still spinning uh 10 minutes five five to ten
Uh, there's a lot to do. Go look at my YouTube. I'm doing it all on there. I'm on a daddy's. Hello, Rita. Hello, 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 Just to make sure they're where you want to be. So I'm gonna just tighten it. Everything's ready tidy again. Stick it in there with anything in there. Here's the clip. There's two other ones on two other sides. Don't forget your little gray piece that goes in there too. And that goes on that. There's a plug on this side. There's a plug on the other side. There's a plug in the front. And then the whole thing goes on. Um, those got to be aligned. That one, that's that. That one will never seem to go tighter than that. Let's see if I can focus it on that, which I can which I can and it just never ceases to close um this might have a lip on it so just watch out for that I don't know if I put that on right it might be going to stick in like that but I'll take this apart again and probably clean that out so um yeah, this would feel like they'd be closer to the door there I'm not sure Let's see what's happening there but yeah, check this out too while I'm at it. And then the last thing is, is just reconnect your battery. Pretty simple, it's a little one-handed trick. Make sure it's where you want it to be. Make sure you have wires, if that's how you want your wires, you can put them both on this side, so they're not that way. Whichever, however you want this wire to land. And just get that on there real tight, real hand tight and snug. So I just went for it that way. That seemed like the most natural, it was gonna bend it too much. This one I just had come down here like that, like so. I'll check out the before video, see how it really was. Put your tools away and you're done. That stuff, you're done. Cool, so we used flathead and these tools. That's really it and that. Those were all tools today. These were the tools. That's all we really used. And the, and the cleaner, CFC. 